the American Association of Individual Investors welcomes you to the Stock Investor Pro video tutorial series. Today, we will discuss how you can use data views to isolate specific data points for viewing, statistical analysis, and reports. With over 2,000 data points per company, Stock Investor Pro offers a robust screening and research database. However, for analysis of individual companies, most users only focus on a select number of fields. While the various tabs of the Stock Notebook and Stock Investor Pro allow you to view related data fields, growth rates, multiples, ratios, etc., you can only do so for one company at a time. Our subscribers frequently ask for an easy way to isolate specific data points that are critical in their personal investment research. With views, users can specify only those fields that interest them and view the data in a single notebook tab. A view is a collection of data points that can be applied to the active set of companies in the stock notebook to view on your computer screen. The companies encompassing the active set are those in the entire database when you first open the program. The active set can also be the results of an applied stock screen, or you may open a saved portfolio that will become your active set. Users create views in Stock Investor Pro with the View Editor. There are three ways to access the View Editor in Stock Investor Pro. Click on the View Editor button on the Program Toolbar. Select View Editor from the Tools menu, or simultaneously press the Alt and V keys on the keyboard. The View Editor is divided into two main parts. The Field Picker on the left-hand side of the View Editor window, and the Text window on the right-hand side. Fields are grouped by category, which means that, beyond knowing which fields you would like to use in your view, you also need to know which data categories they are in. Let's say we want to add company name to our custom view. It is a good idea to add company name and or ticker to a view, as this information is not automatically included. If you are not sure which category the company name field resides in, don't worry. This information is available in the Help System. You access the Help System by selecting Contents and Index from the Help menu at the top of the program window. Choosing Field Definitions and then Alphabetical Listing of Field Definitions allows you to select Company Name from the list to see details about that field, including Field Type, Category, and Description. Here you see that Company Name is located in the Company Information Data Category. Therefore, to add company name to the view, locate the Company Information Data Category in the Field Picker on the left side of the View Editor window and click on the plus sign next to it. This will expand the category to show all of the fields that are part of the Company Information Data Category in alphabetical order. Next, scroll down the list of fields in the Company Information Data Category until you find Company Name. To add a field to the view, Either double-click on Company Name or highlight Company Name and click the Add button in the middle of the View Editor. As you add fields to the view, the field names will appear in the text box on the right-hand side of the View Editor window. In addition, the total number of fields in the view is displayed at the bottom middle of the View Editor window. The most fields you can have in a view is 255. You can keep adding fields until the view is complete. In our example, we have added ticker, PE, PE average 5 years, yield, yield low average 7 year, EPS diluted continuing in growth 5 years, EPS estimated growth, market cap Q1, and relative strength 52 week. Note that the order in which you add fields to a view 
is the same order they will appear on the stock notebook, as well as when printing a view report and exporting data. You can rearrange the order of the data fields in a view that you are creating in the view editor by clicking on the box to the left of the data field in the right side of the view editor and drag the field into its desired position in the list. When you are finished creating your view, you can save it by clicking on the Save button on the View Editor. The program will then prompt you to name the view, in this case, underscore fundamental data, and provide an optional description. When you are finished, select OK, and Stock Investor Pro will save the view. To exit the View Editor, you can click on the X at the top right corner of the View Editor or click on the Close button at the bottom of the View Editor window. You can also create a view within the Screen Editor, which can be opened by clicking on the Screen Editor button on the top toolbar, choosing Screen Editor from the Tools drop-down menu, or by pressing Alt and S simultaneously on your keyboard. After selecting a screen from the Name drop-down menu of the Screen Editor, you can quickly create a view of the selected screen by clicking on Make View at the bottom of the window. This option will create a view that includes all of the data fields used in the selected screen. For example, you can load the predefined Zweig Martin screen and choose Make View. The view editor will pop up with all of the data fields selected from that screen. Click on Save and give the view a name to store it for future use. The standard view is the default view in Stock Investor Pro. Unless you've customized things, this is the view that is always displayed when you first open the program. To apply a different view to the active notebook, click on the down arrow of the View drop-down menu on the toolbar to review the list of views in the program. The views whose names are preceded by an asterisk are those that come predefined with the program. When the predefined ADR screen is loaded in the stock notebook, selecting the fundamental data view that we created earlier will display the fields in that view for those companies that are in the stock notebook. Once you've applied a view to the stock notebook, you are able to sort the companies in the stock notebook by any of the fields in the applied view as well as by using the rank function from the tools menu. In Stock Investor Pro, the default ranking is by company name in ascending order, or alphabetically from A to Z. However, by right-clicking on any of the data column headings in the stock notebook, you can sort the companies by that particular field in ascending, lowest to highest, or descending, highest to lowest, order. Here, we wish to rank the companies passing the predefined NEF John screen by market cap Q1 from largest to smallest, or descending order. To do this, locate the market cap Q1 column in the stock notebook. As you can see, we have already applied the fundamental data view that we created earlier. Right click on the market cap Q1 column heading and select rank by market cap Q1 descending. Once Stock Investor Pro has ranked the stock notebook, Taiwan Semiconductor, ticker TSM, tops the list with a market cap of $126.3 billion, with data as of April 22, 2016. You can also use views to print data. There are two ways to access the available reports menu in Stock Investor Pro. Click on the print icon on the toolbar or select print from the file menu. The available reports in Stock Investor Pro are company summary reports, comprehensive company reports, view reports, statistical summary reports, and industry or sector median reports. Here we will focus on those reports that utilize views, view reports, and statistical summary reports. Just as views allow you to display select data fields, they can also be used to print reports that show only the specific information that interests you. A view report allows users to print company, industry, and sector data in a tabular format. Data can be printed either horizontally, with company names running across the top of the page, or vertically, with company names listed down the side of the page. You can print a view report for either the selected company or the entire group of companies 
and the active stock notebook. Using the NEF John screen that comes preloaded with Stock Investor Pro as an example, we also load the fundamental data view we created earlier. To print a view report using the fundamental data view for these companies, go to the available reports menu, select View Report, All Companies in Active Notebook, and then click the print button at the bottom of the available reports window. At the view report options window, you can select the view you wish to print, in this case, the fundamental data view, and whether you wish to display across by field or issue or company. Once you are finished, click the OK button to generate the view report. Here we see the first page of the view report for the companies passing the NEF John screen as of April 22, 2016, with the data fields of the fundamental data view that are ranked in descending order by market cap Q1. Have you ever wanted to know the median price earnings ratio of the S&P 500 or what the average market capitalization is for the results of a given stock screen? A statistical summary report allows you to calculate this type of information. Statistical summary reports are similar to view reports in that both are based upon a view containing the data fields you specify. However, while view reports display the selected field values, for a collection of companies, statistical summary reports calculate the average, median, high, low, and standard deviation values for the generated fields based on the active set of companies in the stock notebook. The active set of companies may be the entire database of companies, the companies in a loaded portfolio, or the results of an applied stock screen. For this example, we are going to generate a statistical summary report using the results of a predefined stock screen and a view that we've created ourselves. First, we're going to apply the predefined NEF John screen from either within the screen editor or by selecting it from the screen pull-down menu at the top of the program window. We then go to the available reports menu by clicking on the print icon on the toolbar or by selecting print from the file menu. Next, we select statistical summary active notebook and click either the print or preview button. We then select the view that we wish to print, in this case the fundamental data view that we've created previously, and then click the OK button to generate the statistical summary report. So here we have a statistical summary report for the 17 companies that were passing the predefined NEF John screen using the data points found in the fundamental data view that we created with data as of April 29, 2016. From this report, we can see that the median or midpoint market capitalization for the 17 companies passing the John Neff screen is $6.4 billion. In addition, the midpoint PE ratio for these companies as of the end of April was 11.8, and the dividend yield midpoint is 1.2. As you can also see, the report provides average values the standard deviation, the high and the low values for the companies for a given data value, as well as the sample size. In other words, the number of companies that have a valid or non-null data value for a particular data field. By being able to create and save custom views in Stock Investor Pro, users are able to display, manipulate, and print data and information in a way that is most useful for them. Views allow you to load specific data for the active set of companies in the stock notebook. You can also use views to generate view reports for the active set of companies. Lastly, you can create statistical summary reports based on the data contained in a view for the active set of companies in the stock notebook or the entire database. This concludes this installment of the Stock Investor Pro video tutorial series. To view more of these tutorials to unlock the full value of your Stock Investor Pro subscription, Visit the Stock Investor area of AAII.com and select the Video Tutorials link. The Stock Investor area of AAII.com also provides a wealth of user resources, including troubleshooting advice. If you have any questions about or problems with Stock Investor Pro, feel free to contact AAII Technical Support by email at techsupport at AAII.com. Thank you for watching this installment of AAII's Stock Investor Pro video tutorial series.